Hey and welcome back to another video. This is the final part of the AI system. In this video, we're gonna do we're gonna be doing the throttle break and AI boost. So with that, let's get into it. So the method used in this video comes from the YouTuber insert name here, Game Dev. I will leave a link to his YouTube channel in the description. So let's get into it. So in the folder where all the other AI blueprints are, right click go to blueprint go and look for enumeration and then we're going to name this bp underscore turn index and then we're going to open it and then in here we're going to add some values um, the point to this is that in the system we will be using overlap uh, collision boxes to determine the ai's braking power so each corner will have a different braking speed and the data for that will be held in the enumerator blueprint so in here um, on your racetrack it would be advised for you to figure out how fast your car can go around each corner and then use that as a way to determine the ai braking so for me there are four types of corners on this track i just call them by angle so the angles are First one is 90, then there's a 60, a 40, and a 30. So these are all the degrees of the corners. And for each one, there will be a different um, speed that we will determine for the AI. So with that, we're gonna press save, close this, and then in the same folder the rest of the ai we're gonna right click look for blueprint class or class actor we're gonna call this bp underscore corner we're gonna open up the blueprint and in here we're gonna add a component we're gonna add a box collision so we're gonna leave this as box and then we're gonna upscale it uh, block everything upscale it to a value of 10 and then we're going to create a new variable and then this one is going to be the e underscore turn index so this variable will reference the enumerator that we created so under the variable type click and then search for the enumerator bp how do you call it turn index and then make it publicly editable compile save we can close the blueprint and then in the sports cop corn we are going to create a new macro so under the macros press the plus and then we're going to call this git corner so in here we're going to add a couple little bit of code so right click look for get overlapping actors and then from the overlapping actors no from the cross filter we're gonna look for the blueprint we created bp corner then from the overlapping actors we're gonna drag off and say get from the get we're gonna drag off and look for is overlapping actor mash and then from the is overlapping actor drag off and look for a branch node connect the execution print from the branch to the inputs node and then from and then take the output drag it out drag off from the true connect that to the output drag off from the false connect that to the output and then from the get drag off and then connect that to the output so that we have three pins and then we're going to rename each pin the true we're going to rename as in corner if it's true the car is in a corner if it's false then it's not in a corner and then the output for the get we're going to call this is corner so this will pretty much just determine what corner it is and then with that we're done setting up this so just compile and save 
go back to the event graph and then after the steering we can drag in the new macro we created so then connect it after the steering function and then from the macro from the is corner drag off and cost to bp corner connect the in corner execution pin and then from the not corner execution pin drag off and then say set throttle input so we're gonna set the throttle input to one if it's not a corner so the ai can continue driving but if it is in a corner then what we're gonna do is from the as bp corner drag off and then look for the the get e turn index and then drag off from there and then say switch on bp turn index connect the execution pin leave the cast field empty and then now as you can see we have all the different corners that we have here so before we do anything here we need to compile and save and then in the level we need to drag in the bp corner and then add that to an actual corner and then just rescale the edit blueprint to kind of fit the corner so we're just gonna do that real quick so after adding in the corners then what you want to do is select the overlapping collision box and the turn index that you will have a drop down by the default that will give you the corners that you have determined so for me the first corner is a 90 degree so i'm gonna leave it at 90 the second one it's also a 90 degree corner so i'm also going to leave that one at 90 but i'm only adding two for the sake of demonstration purposes but you would add this to every corner in your racetrack and then just come and determine and change the value over here to suit the corner so with that done we're going to go back into the sports car port and then here now what you're going to do is from each corner spin we're gonna so we're gonna create another macro and then this one we're gonna name it as speed limit so this will determine the speed limit the car needs to be at in order to take each of the corners so to create this we are going to drag in the vehicle movement component and then we're gonna drag off and look for the hit forward speed and since we're using kilometers we're gonna drag off and say multiply by 0 0.036 and then we're going to drag off from the multiply and then look for a less than and then we're just going to set everything aligned properly and then the lower pin from the less than we're going to connect that to the input and then from the red pin we're going to drag off and look for a branch node Oh, sorry actually before we do that actually i don't think it's gonna matter that much and then take the execution pin connect that to the input as well if you want to swap the two and that was i did just remove the top one float value and then just reconnect it and then you will have the things organized properly and then from the burnt node we're going to connect the true to the output the false to the output as well and then we're going to rename the output to true we're going to call it under speed limit under limit and then the false to over limit and then by the input we're just going to rename the b to speed limit and then with that done we're going to compile and save and then in the event graph from the 90 since I'm making a demonstration, I'm going to take the speed limit, drag it in, connect the 90 to the execution pin. And in the speed limit, you set it manually. So for um, this corner, the 90, I'm going to set it to a speed of 35 kilometers. And then if it's under the speed limit, we're going to drag off and then say set throttle input. We're gonna set the throttle to one 
and if it's over the speed limit we're gonna set brake input to one so if it's under the speed limit the car needs to the ai needs to throttle and if it's over the speed limit then the ai needs to brake this will only happen if the ai actually overlaps with the collision box so under normal circumstances the ai will simply just follow the throttle over here or the throttle over here so we're going to compile and save and then test it out see if it works save all and then simulate the level so the ai braked and now it's not going anywhere. Uh, let me see if we set this to zero. Drag off from here and then set break input. I'll leave this also at zero to save. And then we simulate the level. See if this works. Gate breaks. And then continues onwards. Breaks again. And then goes again. Okay, so now that's what we needed to do. I don't know why this needs to be the way it is, but if it works, it works. So no need to be looking a gift horse in the mouth. So with that, that brings us to the end of the throttle break. So you would have to replicate this for every corner that you have along the racetrack. So you'd have each one of these attached to each one of the execution pins with a different speed limit to tidy things up a bit. You can simply just drag over this last part over here and then collapse it into a function or a macro I'm just gonna make a function and then I'm gonna call it 90 corner and then it looks a little it looks you know, it looks a little bit more it looks decent so then if you have like four of them then it won't look as bad you know there's just like four over here but I'm not gonna do that uh, we already shown that the system works so you'll just continue the system for each one of the corners specifying the speed limit and then that's that so then the reason why i decided to use this particular system as opposed to the normal ai system is that the normal system for ai has a speed limit on the on the car so the ai is confined to a created speed limit so that it doesn't so that you can continue to take corners so if the car can go like 300 but then because of certain corners on the track it will probably be limited to like 200 so that it has enough time to break and then take so take corners which i don't like because it kind of takes away the competitiveness from the race because then if there's a track with a straight that's long enough then the player will know that well the ai can only go so fast whereas my car can go faster so then it's it's not really you know it's not not that competitive but then if you and the ai drive the same car and the ai uses a, some, a system similar to this where the ai's top speed is only limited by the gear ratios then if the ai is out of out the head of you when exiting the corner and your cars can go the same speed then well I mean, the AI is going to remain ahead of you because you can both go at the same speed. So now with that, we are now going to move on to the AI boost system. So with the AI boost, it's going to be similar to the player's boost. So we're going to recreate it here. So what we're going to do is we're going to create three custom events. One custom event, we're going to call this boost increase. Second custom event. We're gonna call this boost decrease, and then the last custom event is we're gonna name this activate boost. 
so that's just quickly go through this so what you can do actually is because the code is pretty much the same you can simply go click on here it says open parenting editor and then it opens up the sports car porn so this is the boost decrease so we need to copy this code control c boost decrease over here control v and then we're just gonna connect it and then that it will work pretty much the same as it did just remove the nitro decrease over here and instead replace that with the boost decrease so the nice thing about the parent child relationship is that any variable the parent has the child can use as well so that's why the nitro fuel isn't gray it's still green because well it inherited it from the parent and then we're going to do the same for the boost increase so we just go and copy the code Control c Control v and then just connect it up swap out the nitro increase for the boost increase and then that's that code has been set up and then for the activate boost the code is going to be a little bit different because on the player on the players one you have a button to press but the AI doesn't have buttons so we're gonna set it up to use conditions so we're gonna pull in the vehicle movement component drag off and say get forward speed multiply this to get kilometers 0.036 and then we're going to drag off from the multiplier and then look for a greater than and then the condition will be if the ai speed is greater than 80 kilometers and then from the red pin we're going to drag off and say and so we're going to have two conditions for this and then we're going to in the nitro fuel so control c control v drag off from the nitro fuel and say greater than and then here we're gonna say 50. so if the nitro fuel is greater than 50 and the ai's speed is greater than 80 kilometers then we're gonna drag off from the end at a branch node and then from the branch node connect the execution pin to the activate boost from the false we're gonna drag off and then hit delay scroll down to the bottom the delay under the flow control we're gonna set this to a value of 0 0.1 and then to that we're gonna drag off and then say boost increase and then from the true we're gonna drag off and then say boost decrease drag off from the boost decrease get physics linear velocity mesh from the return value drag off and say multiply so for the sake of uh, the tutorial we're gonna kind of set this to a ridiculous number so by the lower pin right click and then say to flow double precision gonna set this to a value of 1.5 I know it's a lot but we want to see if it works and then from the get physics linear velocity we're gonna drag off and then look for set physics linear velocity connect the multiply pin to the new velocity and then we're gonna drag in the vehicle movement component again from the vehicle movement component drag off and say and look for update i think it's updated primitive get updated primitive and then connect that to the target so it pretty much is the same as it would for the player and then that's pretty much it so now we're gonna go and test out and see if this works compile save in the level save all and then we're going to simulate the level and then see 
Okay, so that didn't work. It didn't work. Oh, I've got to connect it to the event tape. My bad. So we're gonna connect that over here by the engine sound. So from the engine sound, drag off and then say activate boost. And then we're gonna compile and save again. And then test out the level, see if this works. Say well, see if it worked this time. Okay, well that worked. So the AI boost works. So we're just gonna change the value back to something reasonable. We're gonna say zero point one point zero three. What's it for the player? Let's see. The player's boost is currently set to a value of oh, zero point zero four. Okay, one point zero zero four. Okay, so we're gonna make it same then compile and save and then that brings us to the end of this video the ai system is now complete if you have more corners simply just add them to the pins and then set their speed limits but with that that's everything the ai system is now complete and until the next video